Hey everyone, welcome back. It's time to talk about the 5 best tips and tricks to fix MacBook overheating problem after macOS Tahoe 26 beta update. MacOS Tahoe 26 introduces new features and visuals, but as with any early beta, performance issues like MacBook overheating can surface. Beta versions are often unoptimized with bugs or background tasks, pushing the system harder than usual. If your MacBook is running unusually hot after installing macOS Tahoe Beta, here are the 5 proven ways to cool things down and prevent thermal stress. That said, let's get it started. So first and foremost, I would recommend you to keep your MacBook on a hard, flat surface. It's worth pointing out that soft surfaces like beds, couches, or even your lap can block the MacBook's ventilation, trapping heat, and making overheating worse. Using your Mac on a hard, flat surface improves airflow around the chassis, allowing heat to dissipate properly, especially important for friendless MacBooks. Then, I would recommend you to restart your Mac to clear background tasks. Post-update glitches or cache processes can linger after installing a beta, quietly working in the background and generating heat. So just click on the Apple menu located at the top left, and then you have to choose the restart option. Note that restarting clears system memory and resets processes, which can stop raw services from draining CPU resources and heating up your Mac unnecessarily. After that, I will recommend you to update all apps for compatibility. Many apps may not be fully optimized for macOS Tower 26, and outdated versions could cause excessive CPU or GPU uses, contributing to overheating. So just open the App Store and then head over to the Updates tab. For third-party apps, check the developer's website for beta compatible versions. Running the latest app versions ensures beta compatibility with macOS beta, reducing the background crashes or resource hogging behavior that hits up your MacBook. Then I will recommend you to monitor CPU usage by Activity Monitor. MacOS beta builds can leave system processes running uncontrollably, spiking CPU uses and triggering fan activity. So just open the Activity Monitor from Applications Utility section or just bring up the Spotlight, search for Activity Monitor and launch it. Then you have to sort by percentage CPU and force quit any unusually high usage apps or processes. Identifying and closing heavy background processes significantly lowers internal temperatures and helps stabilize your MacBook's performance. And finally, I would recommend you to disable visual effects and transparency on your Mac. MacOS Tahoe 26 adds animations and UI refinements, which can overwork the GPU, especially on older Macs. So just open the System Settings app on your Mac, and then you have to choose the Accessibility option. And then you have to choose the Motion option and enable the toggle next to Reduce Motion. Then you have to head over to the Display section and turn on the toggle next to Reduce Transparency. Turning off visual effects lessens the graphics workload, reducing power draw and keeping the system cooler during daily uses. And that's about it. So these are the best tips and tricks to fix MacBook overheating problem after updating to MacOS Tahoe 26 beta update. Hopefully you have gotten the better of this problem and now your MacBook no longer overheats. If you found this video helpful, make sure to like and share it and I'll catch you up in the next one.